Um, hi, my name is Kat Hardy and welcome to Christ Central's Daily Devotionals. It's Holy Week this week, so we're going through the passages that lead up to Easter Sunday. And I'm going to structure my devotional a little differently this week, if that's okay. Uh, I'm going to read a poem that I wrote for you that's based on Jesus's crucifixion, which is what we're studying in today's passage, John 19, 16 through 27. It will be a little shorter than our normal devotionals, but hopefully no less impactful. So without further ado, I'll start the poem. I tried to get away from you. I tried to scorn your cross and refuse your name. I tried to drag you through the mud and spit on you. I tried to escape your love and give you up to the dogs. I tried to divide your garments and cast lots for them. I tried to put you on the cover of magazines only to ridicule you with the headline attached. Is this the Messiah? I tried to give you a place in my heart that wasn't even big enough to hold your big toe. I tried to mold you into an idea of what suited me. I tried to hide from your arched, outstretched arms. I tried to squeeze you out like lemon juice into, into my enemy's eyes. I tried to weaponize you and use you against the ones who tried to hurt me. I tried to make you less than the son of God that you are, only so that I could feel big and you might be small. And you said, okay. You said, okay, go ahead and drag me to Golgotha. Take my clothing and I'll bear these scars. Give me certain deaths so that you may live life to the full. You said you were a fountain of life. You said you were the Christ. You said you were I am. You said you were sent by the Father. I thought I was the one following you and yet it was you who picked me out. You who pursued me. You who never left. You who came back for the lost. Each one astray. Each one beloved. You met me in a bookstore where I had been avoiding you. You guided me to a book called God and All Things to remind me who had sent you into the world and what you came to say, all things. You met me on the street. You met me in a coffee shop. You met me alone in my room. You met me on the underground. You met me in a hospital. You met me in a hospital again. You met me in a library. You guided me to the Bible and in my heart I wondered, is this the Messiah? No more did I want to see your face plastered on magazines to ridicule your name. I wanted to see your face just to look at you. But you met me as I was. You met me when the weight of my sin was upon me. You met me when it was crushing and choking the garden growing within me. You met me when I spoke words that came not from me. I stumbled and you caught me. I made my bed and you lied in it. I dug my grave and you died in it. And so I know I was there with the crowd shouting, crucify him, but you carried that cross for me. And this is how you did it. John 19, 16 to 27. Finally, Pilate handed him over, uh, handed him over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him and with with him two others each one on one on each side and jesus in the middle Pilate had a notice prepared and fastened to the cross it read jesus of nazareth king of the jews many of the jews read this sign for the place where jesus was crucified was near the city and the sign was written in aramaic latin and greek the chief priests of the jews protested to Pilate, do not write king of the jews but that this man claimed to be king of the jews Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. The garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled that said they divided my clothing among them and cast lots for my garment. So this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, the disciples whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman, here's your son, and his disciple, here's your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Now I see myself in this passage. I'm the soldier. I'm the crucifier. I'm the mother, I'm the disciple. Only because each of these people you have loved, 
as seamlessly as your garment was. You have loved those who, who sent you to death and you love the God that raised you to life. And because you have loved beyond all loves, I can learn to love the God in all things. I can learn to love Jesus. And I can learn to love that old rugged cross, cross he carried because I know it was a part of me he was carrying all along. Thank you.